Hey, what's up guys, Nature. Welcome back to Sonic Academy. Now, I'm always pretty excited when I get a new plugin from Unfiltered Audio. They're one of my favorite developers and their new plugin, Silo, does not disappoint. That's an incredibly interesting take on a granular effect. You can do a pretty crazy range of effects that you get out of this. Let's dive in and we're gonna take a look. So here we go, this is Silo. I'm not gonna run through every single control here. Uh, Unfiltered Audio has this really handy little tooltip thing that if you just uh, hover over anything here, it will give you the description of what the control does. Uh, the plugin's broken into three main modules. You've got the granular section over here on the left. You've got the uh, spatializer, which essentially affects filters, pitch, and panning for the grain module. And then it gets fed into a reverb module as well before hitting the output stage here where you've got a mix dial and the compressor. Uh, now I'm gonna be demoing this uh, with an instance of Tactic from Glitch Machines running in the background. I've had the most fun playing around with sort of glitchy percussion and this effect. So what we're working with here is uh, just this little preset from Tactic. And let's start up with Silo and see what we come up with. So right off the bat, before we do anything else, um, they've got this awesome little random preset uh, generator here, uh, which is really nice to just kind of come up with sort of happy accidents with this plugin. Um, you can lock stuff. So say for instance, if you don't want the pitch to be randomized, you can just right click on those. That'll lock the pitch in place. And then we can just randomize the effect from there. So let's start off with the uh, default preset and we can just take a look at uh, what we can do with this. And uh, let's see what we've got as the default. Let's disable the reverb and the specializer initially and we can just take a look at the granular section first. So um, as far as the granular goes, you've got quite a nice representation down at the bottom here. This is basically showing you the buffer. So this playhead is the record buffer uh, that is set over here, the size. And everything can be done by tempo as well, which is a really nice feature. We'll set that to one bar. So each bar here is going to basically record a bar of audio in and your grains are generated from that. Uh, you can also freeze the buffer as well by a certain percentage. And this will, if we stop you'll see no new uh, info is being recorded to the buffer so that silence is not being recorded and it'll just play indefinitely as we dial back on that you'll see it records the silence again let's just hit play again uh, so we've got the size of the grains the rate of the grains you can take a listen to what happens here so obviously a really small grain being generated every one hertz currently. As we dial that up, you'll hear more grains coming in. You can get some sort of ring modulation effects with a really low size and a high rate. You can also do kind of chorus effects as well. Down at the bottom here, you have a spread which will adjust the pitch difference between the left and the right. So you can get some chorusy effects with that. Uh, you can also reverse the grains. We'll take a look at some of those now in a sec as well. Um, let's. Uh, this pitch obviously is quite self-explanatory. Obviously adjusting the pitch of the grains being played. Uh, now let's take a look at the speed. So the speed is the speed of the the, the grain playhead where the grains are going to be generated from. So have a look what happens as we dial that down now. So you'll see this section here is where the grains are being generated from. size and the rate down and you can see the individual grains being generated there. This can also be reversed as well. And frozen completely. 
completely. As I said, a lot of these can be synced to time as well, which is really nice when we're working with uh, percussive stuff like this. So let's sync this up to tempo. And we'll have a rate of 16th notes. We'll set this one to tempo as well. And we'll have the length quarter notes. Let's take a listen to what we get now. Let's bring the speed back up to one. Let's take a listen to the reverses as well. Uh, we can also set the speed to a tempo offset here, so we'll have that locked in place as well. Let's bring our rate up slightly. This mask section here, uh, this is governed by the rate that we have here. Uh, that's the speed at which the mask is going to play. If we dial back on the mask, you'll see it's kind of like a gate pattern. So the grains are only generated whenever there's a whole point being played on. Uh, so we'll just dial that back to 16th notes again, and you can see how that affects these. Let's play that back. So now we've got a nice little delay effect happening there. Um, let's add on our spatializer and take a look at what happens as soon as you feed the grains into the spatializer. So uh, you've got a number of different uh, algorithms here which govern how these points move around. The one that's filled in, the white dot, is the one that's going to be affecting your signal. Uh, you have some controls for that down at the bottom. You have locations, which is going to increase the amount of nodes there. Velocity is going to increase the speed at which they move. The range will be how far away from the center point they are. And then you have a probability of how much the nodes are going to jump from one to the other. So as you turn up jump, you'll see that they switch places. Uh, we can switch around the movement of them. And then you have a few other ones like ping pong and buffer down at the bottom, which uh, will actually change the controls to another gate or mask like we have over here. And the buffer, which affects the buffer directly. Uh, let's just go back to our moons, take a listen to what's happening to our delay sound that we have coming from the granulator section now. So 3D mode is going to actually apply filters and uh, panning. I'm going to set this to stereo just so we can have sort of some stereo uh, movement going on with the screen section. Let's increase the rate again. And let's bring in the reverb section now as well. Uh, so the specializer will feed into our reverb. Once again, you've got a couple of different uh, reverb algorithms here. So we have some interesting controls for the reverb now as well. Um, currently, it's just set to its normal mode, whereby you adjust the volume of the reverb. We can set this to chance. Uh, so this is a probability now as to when the reverb send is going to be enabled or not. So we'll start off with a low probability and take a listen to the effect that you get. It's 
you can hear that reverb now is actually only affecting certain uh, of the grains uh, by a probability. Uh, we can also head down to mask, for example, and much the same way that we have here, as it hits that point, it's going to enable the reverb send. I'll take a listen there. Filter the reverb as well, dial in the amount of filtering. Cool. And uh, lastly, at the output, you can actually compress the entire signal that's running through here. Well, if we set that to its max mix value. Right, let's just pick another preset here and we're going to try and get some slightly more extreme uh, effects out of this. We'll go back to the default preset again. Let's take this drum loop. under the pitch now a little bit. We haven't actually modified the pitch on this yet. Once again, we'll set this to one bar. some reverse grains and change up the shape of the grains as well One thing we didn't touch on yet is you actually have a deviation amount or the randomization for all of these parameters as well. Dial up a little bit of deviation on those and now you should get some different pitch happening at random intervals. So as you can see, it's a bit of a sound design dream, this thing. Um, and as you saw, with uh, setting it up uh, more like a sort of uh, traditional delay sound, which was fairly mundane as far as uh, these examples go, uh, it has quite a wide range from those ring mod effects right up to sort of complex delays, reverbs, uh, pitch effects, all sorts of things. We might just try one last little example. We'll just put it on a ARP. From Anna, just to hear what it sounds like on more tonal stuff. And let's just try and dial in a little preset with this.
run that backwards. As it is a buffer. Just for reference, see what we started off with. Cool, so there you have it. That is Silo from Unfiltered Audio. Like I said, super interesting plug in this. Uh, if you are on Plugin Alliance's subscription, you should have this already. Um, but yeah, definitely want to check out. Uh, I was actually really impressed with this and playing around with this. You get some really, really interesting tones out of that. Uh, so yeah, check that one out. Great little plugin, and I will catch you guys soon right here at Sonic Academy. Cheers. Thanks everyone for watching, we really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like, and if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. PEACE!